Hey there, it's Mandy from Mandy Marie Art. It's time for another Copic Ink Refill Swatch video. In this video, I'm going to swatch my collection of toner gray, warm gray, and black inks from Copic. So let's dig in. All right, first up from the toner gray series is T01. So it's toner gray number one. And this is just a very light gray. It's very neutral. Nothing really bleeds from this color. So it's just your very straight line gray. It isn't gummy, tacky. It's just a very stable color. Next is T3, which is toner gray number three. Again, very stable color, similar to T04. Um, undertones are not present. Little bit of texture building up along the edges, but not much. Um, no staining on the paper. Again, stable toner gray color when you think of like a printer. Uh, the next color is T6, which is toner gray number six. Again, another stable color, but it does get a little gummy and tacky around the edges, some bubbling here, um, but no undertones, no bleeding on the paper, um, no staining on the paper, very stable color. Next is T10, which is toner gray number 10. And this color is very unstable um, in terms of the last few in the toner collection. This one you can see has a lot of yellowing bleeding out there. There's some orange, some pink, some blue. Um, so a little bit of everything, lots of texture and gumminess around the edges. So it's a fun color um, with all the different undertones that bleed out of it, but it's not a very stable color. And it's not, um, Super gummy, but you can build up texture, like I said, along those edges with that number 10. Next is Black 100, and I happen to love Black 100. It's great for building up texture. Um, it has some blue to it and some orange to it, however. So when you overwork it, you'll start to see the orange salmon color pop out of it, and then the blue, and then it does stain the paper quite a bit as you use it. The other black color is the 110 coloring, which is special black. And special black, similar to the regular black, the 100, there's some orangish red color that'll bleed out of it. There's a, some hints of blue, hints of like a, a beige color in there. Um, and sometimes even a little bit of yellow, it just depends on how you're using it. But this one, you can definitely build up texture along the edges. So it's a, it's a really fun color to use though. Next is W3, which is warm gray number three. So we're moving into the warm gray series. The warm grays all have a bit of either like a pinkish hue, reddish hue, and that's to create that warmth value. And so you'll see that staining here. So there's a little bit of that pink um, otherwise, it's a very stable color. Nothing else bleeds from it. It just has that original staining of pink on the paper, um, but it has almost like a greenish hue to it as well. So it's a, it's a really interesting color. Almost has that olive feel to it. And then we have W5, which is warm gray number five. Again, pink staining on the paper. It's just a little bit deeper, a little bit darker, but um, has almost that greenish hue again to it. Then we have W7, which is warm gray number seven. Again, that pinkish orange hue at the base, a little bit of blue, a little bit of green. So this one kind of has a, a little bit of everything, not a lot in terms of texture. You could maybe build it up a little bit because it is a darker color, but number 10, which is W10, the warm gray number 10, this one you definitely can build up texture with. Um, so it is kind of like that gummy, cakey consistency. And so you can build that up. There's a little bit of that orange, a little blue in there. Um, it's very warm. Ha takes on like, again, that brown, warm like hue to it. So even though it's a gray, these are the other colors that are coming into play with it. So it pairs really well with reds, oranges, um, again, like those warm tones. So think warm on the color spectrum, on the color wheel. All right, one last look at my personal collection of toner gray, warm gray, and black inks from Copic. If you enjoyed this video and want to learn more about alcohol ink, go ahead and hit that subscribe button below and you'll be notified the second I upload a new video. So that's it from me.
Let's meet up again.